Joining us right now at five with everyone 16 and over now eligible for the COVID vaccine. More clinics are popping up all across the state in a push to end the pandemic. But a potential supply shortage linked to Johnson and Johnson vaccines could throw a wrench in that plan. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live in the Elm City with a look at what health officials are doing there. Matt. Well, Aaron and Mark, the clinic here at East Shore Park wrapped up just a little after four o'clock. They had 200 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And the best part, no registration. You could just walk up. Now, the state says it's going to see fewer doses of the Johnson & Johnson one shot over the next few weeks. But the city of New Haven says it's the health department. Well, right now it's in pretty good shape. The line stretched down the park, dozens patiently waiting for a shot at putting this pandemic behind them. I'm very excited about it. I think it's a great idea. I know there are lots of people who have been struggling to find appointments. I'm hesitant about the vaccine in general, but you can't get a vaccine. You can't make an appointment. So I said, you know, might as well. And for many, the chance to walk right up and get that single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine was pretty appealing. I had an appointment, but it wasn't for another two weeks and it was an hour away, so I'd have to go there and come back, and it was Pfizer, so I'd have to do it twice. So this just seemed like a better option. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to roll. We're told here in New Haven, Griffin's Health's mobile vaccination team will be doing other walk-up clinics around the city in different neighborhoods each weekday as New Haven tries to get more people vaccinated. I was really hopeful I'd get a Johnson & Johnson, one and done. So I lined up, got the vaccine, pretty lucky. I'm feeling very fortunate. In fact, this was one of four pop ups in New Haven today. The other three hosted by the city's health department, like here at the fire training academy, specifically for city workers. As soon as uh, we were provided with the opportunity, I was all about it. Um, I'm just as excited as everybody else to to see a little light at the end of the tunnel finally. But if you're looking for the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, the state says it will be getting fewer doses over the next few weeks until the supply level can rebound after a bad batch was manufactured last week. Fortunately, here in New Haven, the Elm City says it's in good shape because it's also using Pfizer and Moderna. We schedule everything out a week in advance, so it's important for planning purposes. So we have not had any issues and we are very fortunate to be offering all three vaccines um, for the community. Now, in addition to the four pop ups in the Elm City today, tomorrow and Friday, FEMA will have its mobile vaccination unit on the New Haven Green for a large clinic. That's only for New Haven residents only, but you do need to register the information on the Channel 3 app. But the city says they're expecting to vaccinate between 250, 400 people each day on the New Haven Green. We're live with the mobile newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.